Though Eric Rosenbrook and Leda Margaretha quit 90 Day Fiancé after facing backlash and even death threats, their story continues. Eric and his middle daughter, Tasha, had a falling out over Leda so severe that Eric went to the police. Now we learn that, thanks to how Leda treats his youngest daughter, he might no longer be allowed to see her. Radar Online reports that Eric went so far as to file a harassment report with the police against his own teenage daughter. Why? Because he didn't like the things that she was saying on social media. Eric advised that Nadaziah has been posting things on her social media accounts, a police officer noted in his report. The two of them told the officer that Tasha was trying to damage Eric and Leda's reputation. Eric and Leda have done a fine job of that on their own on 90 Day Fiancé. They don't need any help. 90 Day Fiancé viewers all know his daughter as Tasha. Honestly, if your parents name you Nadaziah and you are not a Russian dragon, you're entitled to be on the outs with them as an adult. The officer's notes also reveal, Eric stated that he believes this is defamation of character. He apparently believed that this was so serious that he contacted the actual police about his daughter's social media posts. Eric and Leda showed the officer Tasha's social media posts, but he was less than impressed by the evidence. Nadaziah does mention only Leda in one post, the officer notes. But there is no last name. The post also states that someone Leda had her INSTagram account deleted for harassment and bullying, the officer adds. The officer writes, I was advised that was because Leda, in the past did post things in response to Nadaziah's post. And, the officer points out. That is no longer the case. While Tasha revealed that Eric was previously homeless and living in his car and also defended herself against his claims, Eric didn't have much of a case. The officer advised Eric that he would be just as guilty as Nadaziah because of the things that he had claimed about her. There was also the matter of Tasha's freedom of speech. If Eric feels that she is committing libel or slander, he could take her to court over its civil court. With some very specific exceptions, you cannot press criminal charges against people for saying unflattering things on social media. The next day, on December 6, Tasha and her mother, Tanya, contacted the police. We don't think that the timing was suspect but rather that they wanted to make sure that law enforcement saw Tasha's side. All of the posts were of similar nature to what Eric and Leda informed me that Nadaziah was doing to them, the officer's report reads. Nadaziah advised that this has been bothering her mentally, the police note. And it sheds a negative image of her to her fans. Tasha is a cosplay enthusiast and, of course, attracted additional fans after her appearances on 90 Day Fiancé. Nadaziah requested that I ask Eric and Leda to quit posting negative stuff about her, the report says. The officer gave Tasha and Tanya the same reminder, both parties have said unkind things. Also, Eric and Leda also have the legal right to speak their minds, with certain very specific exceptions. If Tasha and Tanya wanted to find the money to take them to court, that would be a civil matter. However, Tanya did bring up another subject is much more important than anything that anyone in the family has written on social media. Tanya asked police about her younger daughter, who is still a minor. She stated there are no court documents on custody, the officer's report reveals. And, the report says, Tanya informed police that there is an arrangement with Eric as far as placement with the other child verbally. Tanya said that her other child does not want to go stay with Eric anymore, the report reveals. The child apparently feels this way because Leda belittles the child and makes fun of her. That sounds very upsetting. No minor should be treated that way by a grown adult. Though police may have felt exasperated by this family at this point, they are no strangers to dealing with family squabbles. The officer did inform Tanya that, if there is no court order or written agreement for custody, Tanya's daughter does not have to visit Eric. Eric and Tanya will have to hash it out in court. Of course, this could give Leda exactly what she wants, as viewers saw her demand that Eric stop paying child support to Tanya. Tanya also mentioned that she wishes for Eric to stop harassing her at her home. I advised Tanya that she needs to contact the law enforcement agency where she lives, 
the officer notes. Tanya needs to do that and inform them on what is going on and her wishes about Eric staying off her property. It sounds like Tanya had initially only gone there to support Tasha, but then asked her own questions. The real question we have is, is any of this worth it to any of the people involved? 